midfield, number eight, Jules Chopin. Number 10, David Mashinchi. My parents told me that we'd be moving to Canada. I wasn't happy at all about it. Because like, I was playing at the highest level at the U17 Bundesliga with Fortuna Düsseldorf. So I pretty much had to give that up and then move here with my parents because I couldn't stay there by myself. I came here, had no club, um, didn't know anyone. So I trained on my own for a bit, like literally every day. I was actually, remember I used to live, uh, when we moved, we lived in Kukutlam. I was running the hills up and down in Kukutlam Heritage Mountains and the uh, Westwood Plateau. And yeah, so my cousin at that time, uh, she posted a note on BC Soccer Web that a uh, kid moving from Germany is looking for, uh, for a team. So a good friend of mine, uh, Ray Korga, he at the time was coaching Westside U21. He was uh, the only guy who called and uh, so I played with Westside U21, it's a local team, um, for six months. And uh, yeah, after six months, we had an opportunity playing against the Whitecaps youth team. And uh, in that game, I knew I had to impress because this could be probably my only chance to impress the Whitecaps coaches. And uh, luckily I did. I think I scored two goals in that game or yeah, it was two goals. And so they asked me out to come. And uh, in 2007, I played for the residency team. They just started that. Uh, program in 2007 after that I got called up to the first team and I with 19 I had my debut playing in the USL the league below MLS against uh, Charleston Battery and yeah from there the rest is history so. Uh, scouted by Fortuna Düsseldorf who play in the second Bundesliga right now and they're a big traditional club. Uh, I played from 15 till 17 there and we played at the high, highest youth level. Um, played in the U15 Bundesliga and U17 Bundesliga and competed with teams like Bayer Leverkusen, Gladbach, Borussia Dortmund, Schalke and uh, so it's pretty much the highest uh, youth league over there. We played against Mestu uh, against München Gladbach in 2007, I played against Marco Marin, who is playing in Spain right now. He's a former German national team player. Uh, Stefan Reinhardt plays for Bayer Leverkusen right now, when we played against the youth team of Bayer Leverkusen. And uh, actually one of my friends who made it really far right now is like, I grew up with Semi Alagui. He plays for Mainz right now. and. With the Whitecaps, who we went down with the residency program. We went down to Germany and played against VfB Stuttgart, U19 and Bayern Munich U19. And in that game, uh, Thomas Müller was on the field. He was playing on the same side with me. So that was a great experience. Um, all in all, uh, playing against these guys uh, was a great experience. You'll never forget. And yeah, it was amazing. First at the Thunderbirds, uh, I remember it was a training session at the Varsity Field and uh, it was a time when I came back from Iran playing there. Uh, it wasn't really uh, like a, I didn't feel like I didn't, it was completely new to me because I knew most of the players from past playing with the Whitecaps and uh, I knew our coach Mike Moser before that too so it was, uh, I didn't feel like oh it's something new, I don't know anyone. Uh, felt really familiar, the guys made it really easy for me and uh, it was great. Most yeah, memorable game I, like for me was last year's semi-final at Nationals against York. We were one nothing down and we came back, which I, quite honestly, I wouldn't expect that. <laughs> they were, I think, the strongest team at Nationals we played against and they had a really great team. And, so yeah, we went down one nothing. Probably could have even gone down two nothing, but uh, second half we came back with uh, 
I remember I had a free kick, I crossed it and then Sean Anderson scored that off the volley. It was 1-1 and then we scored a nice goal. I, uh, I did a nice one to with Milad Mirabi and he finished it and scored the 2-1. Like after that game I knew like we can, we we're gonna win it for the second time in a row. The secret to Thunderbirds winning it twice in a row, to me it's uh, the team chemistry, the team bonding we had between us. Uh, like we all, everyone, we are really good friends on and off the pitch. And I think the biggest advantage we always had like these two years, even now it's for us it's not important who gets the uh, individual glory. We all care about the team, about uh, us as a team together. And uh, yeah, it's just a team chemistry. We all, it's great atmosphere in the change room and we all care about each other and we want the best for each other. R Rookie Thunderbirds. Uh, I mean, uh, the biggest challenge for players coming in as like straight from high school is, of course, it's a different level playing here with the UBC Thunderbirds. And I mean, the team right now is probably at this peak. It's like a really tough team to get in, to get in, to get a starting position. But the biggest advice I would give for younger players, as I give right now to a couple of our younger guys, is really to work hard every single training session and be patient. And what's all, once the opportunity is available for them and once they get the chance to play, that they have to take it because you don't get too many chances. And if you don't take it, there'll be another player who will uh, take it, yeah. The biggest change I would love to see is uh, for guys who have uh, inspir inspiration and have the wish to play at higher leagues and playing professionally, to give them the opportunity to play and um, MLS or NASL and getting drafted by the teams. Like right now, uh, CIS players are not able to get drafted by the MLS. They can't take part in the MLS drafts for several reasons, I don't know. But I mean, I wish in some part, in, at some point in the future that will change, that guys can get drafted from the MLS and take part of these uh, drafts, yeah. What's next? Uh, playing wise, I mean, uh, I don't know what's next, like playing professionally or not. I mean, I'm not really like, uh, it's not my goal playing professionally, but I mean, we, we, I don't like, you never know what's happening in the future. And if some opportunities come up playing MLS or NISL, uh, we'll see, I would love to play, but uh, I'm more focused right now on my current job right now with the Whitecaps, uh, working in the scouting and video analysis department for the MLS team and I really enjoy it and uh, I mean that's right now my priority right now but if something comes up playing wise professionally who knows maybe I get the opportunity and uh, play yeah always growing up uh, always big Bayern Munich fan uh, my dad uh, in Germany when we were we were always watching when I was a kid watching the Bundesliga together and he was a Bayern fan and from him, I got it always, uh, always from, like from my heart, always by a Munich fan. Yeah, and I even remember I cried after one game. I think it was '99 when they lost the Champions League final against Man United. Yeah, like really diehard by a Munich fan. Yeah, <laughs> like I will never forget these five years I had at UBC. Uh, like the moments winning with the, the like the championships with the team twice in the row. Even my first year when we went to the final and lost it, it was a big disappointment. Um, all the moments like the celebrating after the champ winning championship or even the moments where we were sad and we were mad at each other, like every single moment is unforgettable. Like I will never forget these five years at UBC.